let's look at a way of creating test cases which can help teams make sure that the requirements are properly covered through the test cases that they are writing. For that, let's go to our requirements. Here I have my requirements or user stories open in another window. Let's go to the issue page to see the details for one of our requirements. Let's choose this one. If AIO tests is enabled for the project, you should be able to find the AIO test section on this page. It's right here. On a side note, if you have a lot of other apps installed which are taking up a space on this page, or if you have a really long description like this, You can always click on this AIO tests link, which should be available just below the issue summary and the page should scroll to the AIO test section like this. Let's get rid of the unwanted description first. Here in the AIO test section, we can see that there are no cases covering this particular requirement right now. We can click on create or link now. That should open up a panel or we can even call it a widget for AIO tests on this page. This panel can be really useful as it can be used to quickly create placeholder cases for this requirement, which helps in establishing proper traceability. Let's see how to do that. Let's click on the create case link. Here we should be able to provide a title for our first placeholder case. Let's do that. Let's assign a priority. Let's choose high. We can keep this status as published. Let's click on create. As we can see, a new case to do TC7 was just created and associated with this requirement. We can even check it out in our main app. Here we are in our main app. Let's click on the cases tab. We can see that to do TC7 is available over here. Let's go back to the user story and create the remaining placeholder cases for the requirement. As we have seen, clicking on the create icon on this panel quickly creates a case with provided values for title, priority and status. However, as we know, project admins can make various attributes of a case mandatory. If they have made any case attribute mandatory, then clicking on this create icon will open a create case model instead of directly creating the case. And on that model, we can provide values for various mandatory or non-mandatory fields. In case there are no mandatory fields set by the project admins, but we still want to add more details to the case being created, we can click on this add more details icon and it will open a create case model where we can provide the details. Let's do that for this case. So we can see that a create case model is opened and on this model, we can provide the required details. Let us just set the priority as high and the type as functional. We can even click on add steps to add steps for this case. But for this example, let's just click on create case. We have now created all the placeholder cases for this particular requirement. Let's cancel out of this. As writing test cases is usually an early part of the QA process, creating placeholder cases like this can help teams ensure that proper coverage and traceability is established at an early stage in the QA lifecycle. 